Hey everyone, I'm Sue and welcome back for another episode of Does This Notion Really Work? And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about The Clearly Perfect Angles by Carrie Carr. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below and be sure to click the little dinger button so that you get alerts every time I upload a new video. The Clearly Perfect Angle tool was invented by Carrie Carr of New Leaf Stitches. Carrie is a fabric and pattern designer, she's a book author, and like myself, she is a Bernina ambassador. I recently did a review on Carrie's Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmers, and I gotta tell you, I didn't know even what these were for before I did my review on them, and now I use them every single time I make a half square triangle. Now, the Clearly Perfect Angle tool is something that goes on the bed of your machine and helps you align those half square triangles or any angle that you're creating perfectly every single time without having to pin or mark. So let's go ahead and learn all about these guys and see if they would fit into your sewing regime. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpackage our Clearly Perfect Angles and show you all the cool things that it can do. But I did want to share with you a fun fact that Carrie invented this 10 years ago. So happy anniversary, Carrie. Yay! The Clearly Perfect Angle is a vinyl material which stays in place with static, kind of like a window cling. And it's also affectionately known as the cling. And it really helps improve piecing. It's color coded for easy use and fabric alignment. There's even a key on the product, and it's customizable to each machine. Here is the needle position and a quarter inch guide on each side. The letter A's will allow us to align from point to point to create a half square triangle. So you're just going to align those right down the center and keep it straight. And what's really great is no matter how big your square is, it will keep it straight and not tilt it. Just keep going and you'll create your half square triangle. Once you're finished with that, of course, you're going to go to the rotary cutter and cut a quarter of an inch off and just disregard the extra. Now those dotted lines are 5 8 inch, which is great for garment sewing, but it can also be used to align that original stitch. Stitch right down there. When you're finished, you'll now have two half square triangles. Just use your rotary cutter to cut down the center of that. Now you've got a larger half square triangle, clip clip and a smaller one, which you can use for another project. And here's another use. You're gonna follow the outside of those gray bands and go down the center of your points and align it with the outside of the gray bands. As you're stitching this, it will align with the outside of the gray band over here. And when you stitch it and flip it around, you're gonna do the same thing. Align the center point with the outside of the gray band and when you're all finished, you will have two half square triangles exactly the same size. Just clip up the middle and there you go. Now let's talk about binding. This is a great trick so that you don't have to mark and or guess on your binding. Overlap the two pieces of binding and you'll notice that when you do that, it gives you like a little inverted corner. Align those two corners with the center needle line and as you stitch, it'll always be easy to get a perfect angle. Up until now, I've been showing you this flat on a white table. Now let's get it on our machine. Just remove your presser foot, and you're also going to want to remove the thread from your needle. Just kind of get it out of the way. We are going to be aligning the needle position with the clearly perfect angle. Go ahead and remove the backing, and you can see how I've done that. And just discard that paper for right now, but hold on to it just in case. And you're going to go right down the center of that needle position line it all up and once you've got it down just kind of smooth out the area you want to make sure you get the quarter inch marks and the 5 8 inch marks and any angles that are on the bed of your machine it took me a few seconds but i was really pleased with the results once you're happy with the placement and it's nice and smooth go ahead and use a nice sharp seam ripper to remove the plastic that is above the feed dogs you got to make sure those feed dogs are completely exposed or else your machine's not going to sew. What's really nice is you can customize this to each machine. So assuming that you have more than one machine, you're going to want to make sure you have more than one of the clearly perfect angle tool. And just take off that little piece of plastic and completely discard it. 
Now make sure you have all the plastic removed. Get a pair of sharp scissors in there and take care to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and attach our presser foot and let's thread the machine. And we'll talk a little bit about the other benefits of the Clearly Perfect Angle Tool. On my Bernina 790 Plus, my bobbin is in the front. I have a front loading machine, but some machines do have a top loading bobbin. So you would just peel back the little plastic and change it and or if you wanted to clean your machine, which you should do, you know, every six to eight hours anyways. So go ahead and just keep that in mind that you can always just peel it back and adjust as needed. It's no big deal. It's super easy to do. And when you're not using your Clearly Perfect Angle tool, go ahead and put it back on the original sheet that it came with for storage. Now it's time to see if it actually works. So I'm using the technique where I am making my half square triangles going right down the center needle position, aligning point to point. You'll notice that even if you have a bigger block, those side lines will help keep you straight. And also it's really cool when you're stacking blocks and sewing lots of them. Beautiful. Now that the stitching's finished, we're gonna go to our cutting mat and we're gonna use our Clearly Perfect slotted trimmers. Now for full details on how to use this, definitely follow the link below to see the complete video. But basically you're going to align the bottom seam with the size that you want your half square triangle to be. In this case, it's a three inch half square triangle. And we're just gonna cut off those little tails, like little dog ears, and there we go. And this way, when you open your seam and we flatten it out with our By Annie stiletto and pressing tool, it lays perfect and there's no extra seams. So what did you think of that? I mean, pretty cool, huh? Especially if you're doing a ton of half square triangles, which for whatever reason, it seems like I've been doing a lot more of those lately. So now you're probably wondering where you can get your very own Clearly Perfect Angle tool. Well, you can absolutely go to Carrie's website. All the information is in the description below. You can also ask your local dealer, and there are a few places online that I have the links in the description as well. And now you're probably wondering what does the Clearly Perfect Angles tool retail for? Well, it retails for $11, but I will tell you that if you go to Carrie's website, she has this little drop-down menu option where the more you buy, the more you save. So it's something to consider. Consider. So maybe you want to go in with a friend and buy a couple of them. Or you have a couple of machines and you want to keep them in place all the time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe and click the little dinger button. That way you get alerts when I do upload a new video. And if you like behind the scenes kind of things, be sure to follow me at Suovery Designs over at Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. You can also follow me on Facebook. We have a fan club. And the girls and the guys, we're all having a good time in there talking about the Suovery Designs projects that they're working on, asking questions, offering suggestions and tips, and it's just kind of a fun group atmosphere. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you have projects that you've been working on of mine, you can also post them there, and it's really a great way to you know, share your creative outlook and then oftentimes I'll share them here on my videos. Well, until I see you next time, I hope you have a creative day. Bye-bye! If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Have a creative day. Bye-bye!